I'm panicking and I, I must clap now. He's gonna say three. There it is. Is it, am I gone or is he gone? He's there? gone. Okay. So now we can talk about him. So now we can talk about his bald fucking head and how he's for some reason sitting on the floor and how that has now disturbed the recording just enough. Everyone knows like your, your Wi-Fi signals are up higher. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Oh, he, you see the disdain on his face? It's there for a second. Now the tongue's out like a little turtle taste in the air. Can't hear shit, though. Nope, not a goddamn thing. His eyes. <laughs> Look at his goddamn <laughs> eyes. Black like a doll's. Oh, God. It's beautiful. So we'll go on without him, because he's a piece of shit, and we'll just add his audio in at some point, because that's going to be funny. People to the Horrible Opinions Podcast. As always, I'm your great white savior slash devil summoner host, Kenny. I'm your shark Daniel, summoned the- from the depths <laughs> by the evils of the Shinra Corporation. Yes, I'm not a shark. I'm a weapon that the Earth has created to uh, cease the uh, harvesting of Mako energy. So would you be a Mako shark? I'm a Mako. Oh, I'm a Mako shark. Uh, wait, how's the how's the Final Fantasy music go? Does it go? <laughs> shark is here. There's no reason to fear. It's it's real. It's real, but you're on land. But you're on land. Shark in the do. No matter where we go, the shark is also there. Cause he's also a land shark too. Land shark, ride like sky cycle. I'm cloud strife. Air's not tall enough. It will be. Oh. Why? You gonna rub it with a balloon? Mm-mm. <laughs> you can't get aroused this much. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my secrets. This is the best shark movie ever made, and that's not the pre-gaming I did before I watched it talking. What pre-gaming do you do? Brian. I made myself a daddy cocktail before sitting down with this one. What is a daddy cocktail? Is it NyQuil? Nope. It had rum. Yes. I had some NyQuil before watching both the movies. I think the bottle has the word death on it. Uh, But you know what? Brought me back to life. Bring me to life. Wake him up. Woke him. Woke? It's woke month. No. You can't wake, get woke I'm awake up. every month. Every month, I'm woke. And of course, we are watching Nacho Libre 2, The Black Demon. This movie is better than what the reviews give it. It also, I think it'd be better without a shark. This movie, so keep the shark, but lean, like, go full in with the hallucination and warping of reality. No, I disagree with that. I didn't like that. Well, that's the parts I really liked. The shark's messing with I, you? How, what? I like the sh- it's the not whole... a shark, Daniel. It's a demon, it's a demon in the body of a shark. A megalodon. It was summoned from extinction by Tlaloc. Oh, you mean it's like an underwater weapon, like what I said? No. Yeah. I think so. That's why I said yeah. it. It's this movie was dropped out there, and it, se- it seemed to have slightly more buzz than just the run-of-the-mill shark side of the moon bullshit. Th- you this know, this got like, advertising. Get, let's not yeah. get ahead of ourselves here. So, this, is well, no, this is no shark side of the moon, fellas. Look, a- agreed, but it's better. it is what? better than shark bait, and it is Ooh, better ha, than ha. the reef. It is better than those. It's better than shark bait. It's... I'll help you finish. And the reef. What's the reef? I don't actually know which which one of wasn't, these is which. Wasn't the reef with You mean with, the shallows? Oh, but that had and a reef the in shala, it. La, 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 los. I mean the shallows, but I wrote Ryan's the reef because I can't remember. It's on par with the shallows. No, this was far more interesting. Well, it had more a bigger cast. 
That's true. They had characters that could talk to each other. They had, uh, it has like supernatural lore. It's supernatural. That's fun. Oh, but Ryan, overall, is this a fairy the tale? Gets, gets sloppy uh, at it, parts. You're gonna, you're gonna ask me that on this day, Daniel. Is, is this, this a fairy, a fairy tale? tale Ryan? It's fairy tale month, Daniel. You're gonna ask every me every month. Every month is fairy tale month. Yeah, Ryan's a little fairy. Look at him. Look at his... On this of all days, is the sixth something some day I should be aware of? It's the six, 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 Daniel. It's, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It, We're bringing it back. You add the three to the twenty-four minus one, and then plus forty, and then it's. The sixth day You're not of 2066. For the sacred, sacred geometry. Oh. Of the fuck you. Um. Yeah. This movie, did it even get a theatrical release? Because I feel like it should have. Doesn't need one. Because it's, everything, everything about it sits there and looks on paper as we, like. Look, the perfect movie platform exists. Okay. You don't need theaters. You don't need Amazon oh, Prime. General. You don't need Netflix. All you need is Tubi. Oh, is this Tubi. on Tubi? I don't know. I'm just saying we have the perfect platform exists. It's like why we got to make things that aren't Steam. Steam oh, exists. I, I, it's called I Tubi. <laughs> yeah, but people are upset with their logo change. I don't give a shit. Doesn't look as good, but whatever. Daniel, it's thing. what's your Final Fantasy synopsis for this movie? I already gave it. All right. But what was it? Okay, so... Uh, Shinra Corporation is, uh, dig, uh, harvesting Mako energy off the coast of, uh, Baja, California, right? Right? Which is, which looks real pretty, and, uh, they're sending one of their, but, uh, there's, <laughs> there's always a hiccup. <laughs> there's always a hiccup, because my brain, my brain's like, you could go this way, or you could go this way, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna go a different way, brain. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. You're 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 swinging side to side like a shark in the water. Okay. Anywho, this guy is uh he's sent there to uh to uh what's he do? He's like he like reviews um car, car parts or what does he do? <laughs> car parts, a hundred percent. Safety inspector. <laughs> he's a safety inspector, oil but not for, for the cars. Oil for the mufflers. For Mako, yes, for Mako Energy, and if things are bad, he'll have to shut the reactor down. And he gets there. And, and the and Ghostbusters he, don't want that. And we can see right away that things are bad. Because there's there's Mako in the water, and it's not supposed to be there, right? And then it turns out there's a big, there's a big uh, underwater creature that got summoned by the greedy nature of the corporation. Because this thing should have been shut down. It belongs in a museum! Anyway, him and his family get trapped there, and then they gotta they gotta figure out how to get off of it while while coming together as a family union. Secrets are revealed. Ryan kind of thought that the the first diver rafter people we met, one of them kind of looks like like a a fatter face. Nacho, his name is Nacho. Nacho looks like yeah, a fatter Nacho. faced The Rock to me. Did you get that vibe? I was thinking Vin Diesel. I couldn't remember Vin Diesel's name. I kept coming up with Val Kilmer, and I knew that was incorrect. Fat so, Bell, foul. He had a shot of being in this movie, though, given the location. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, the ocean. <laughs> all the krill around that you can all the krill. Just scoop up. It's like an all you could eat buffet for one of his kind. They'll swim right into your mouth. You just leave it open. You don't have to do Those, much. That's the secret I mean, to just kind of swim. staying that big as you burn but as I've few calories not, as possible. Probably not a lot of krill in the oil infested Daniel waters. Daniel turns into a whale when he's in the forest. What just opens his oh. mouth? This is true. All the spiders just go right into his mouth. Yeah, I'm like a little vacuum cleaner. Yeah, you are. Wait, no, he's like that lady in the book. Yeah, I'm like that lady in the book, y'all. I know an old lady who swallowed a spider. I know an old lady who swallowed a sandwich. Tell your mom hi for me. Never mind, no. I'll call her myself. I know the number. <laughs> yeah. I know the number. <laughs> I know the number. Uh, okay, I just did a little brief research. This did go to theaters. <laughs> That shows how much it was actually advertised. I remember seeing advertisements for this, and I was excited. I just, I just remember seeing people like, "Oh yeah, so I watched this uh, thing," but like nothing. I didn't even know it was a fucking. It's another Megalodon movie, so that makes it feel even more like a cash grab off the popularity of the Meg movies. But the thing is, they don't even put it forward. Like the Megalodon, it's on the poster, but that's not even the movie. No, right, that's it's not almost like it's almost like this movie could have been done without a shark. Oh, almost like how most of those zombie movies could be done without zombies because they're not the issue. Well, the shark is an issue. 
But the real the issue, issue but is not the, the greedy Shinra Corporation. They're destroying the planet. Yeah, the I like the shark as a tool to keep the people stuck in this situation, but not as, like, the villain. The villain's the oil company. Shark. Strong disagree. Our, uh, a lot of good people work for big oil. Uh, like Earl Sinclair, that, uh, for example. Those people are the company, you know. They say they're a family. They're not the family, okay? When you walk into work and they say we're family here, you turn around and you leave. Because nobody wants to work with their family. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody wants to work. Nobody. That's what's wrong with kids these days. Not that they're severely underpaid. CEOs getting richer every goddamn day. Whoa. How are they making Whoa. money off of this plant with all the oil going out into the fucking ocean and not getting sent off in their goddamn ships? Explain that to me. Oh, we just kept cutting. They've got other Whoa. ones, Kenny. This isn't the only one they got. Then why not just, like, shut it down? I don't know. That costs because money, and they are shutting it down. They are shutting it down in their way. Let's oh. get into it. We got, we're got we out there on the rig. It's nighttime. So there's a train. Oh. What? Oh, yeah, there's a train, and there's this, like, dun, 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 dun. no, oh. that happens when you level up. Um, <laughs> or when you win the fight. <laughs> there you go. I'm going into Zelda. I did da 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 Link, he ride a train. He go to Midgar. He saves. Oh, but she gets stabbed right through the midsection. She might not. I don't know. Unless the remake did something different. I don't go diving at night. Nacho Libre to the Black Demon. Nacho, he's the best diver. Uh, Nacho's the best. We, yeah, we, we get Nacho and we get uh, Radio Man and we get this after we get a little like fairy tale opening about One some more of you fucks black mentions fairy tale. Who, uh, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. On this month? This month? A fairy tale months. month, Daniel? <laughs> We're storytelling? This is this is insert month into into fairy tale month, Daniel. Insert actually, month into fairy tale month. It actually is, Daniel. Did you know no, that? That's not. I don't yeah. what month does this episode come out? I don't that doesn't matter. But this is cousin. <laughs> this is reading month, month Daniel. Use... And what do you read? This is re- fairy tales. What do I read? No, not subtitles. you. I, look. I read it's subtitles. It's in that book. Something something. Reading, reading rainbow. rainbow. Reading rainbow. Yeah. So we got like a little, you know, opening narration thing where we talk about like, oh yeah, there's a there's a demon and it's, you know, summoned. You know, it doesn't just show up, it's summoned. It's summoned. Lender, beast. It's angry. Summoned yeah. by who? I thought it was by, uh, what's his name, Chato? Well, who the fuck is that? No, Chato ain't gonna do it. El Rey, maybe. Who the fuck mm. is El Rey? He's a slightly douchey guy, but maybe he's more all right than every other guy in the town because he doesn't try to, like, potentially start working on a rape. Oh, these are the names of the people? Yes, they have Daniel. Names oh. They're not countries. just pretty faces, <laughs> Daniel. They also no, they're not have pretty names. faces. They're How war-torn dare you? and weary. I don't know. The bartender was all right. He had some cool hair. Russia's been invading them for a while. You can tell. Mm. So, look, they're there. Like, Nacho is the best driver. He's also the best Jack Black character. Best diver. Maybe. I don't know. What you I, said, what you I said say driver. What? Holy driver. Well, you, you don't know about his driving skills. But yeah, you don't know. What do you, How do you think they got out there? You think they flew? No, I think they took a boot. And you drive a boat. And you drive a boot. I think you pilot a boat. No, you captain a boat. But you can captain anything. Can you captain, captain me? my ass. You can captain me if you want. What do you know if about you Captain Morgan? To. You shouldn't know about Captain Morgan. You shouldn't Morgan. know about anything. You're 15. You 15. shouldn't know what about you doing? Captain Morgan. You was just a boy. Shouldn't He's know just about a Captain boy. Morgan. You was just Look, a boy. Look, man. Nacho Libre, world's best uh One day pilot. we'll get through this part of the episode. He, he dives, and then he dies. <laughs> and then we kick back off to... Like okay, now our hero did has he do broken something? Up. Did he do something while under the sea? What no, did, he went what did he, further down. What did I he do? T- died. I couldn't tell what no, he was doing. No, what did he do that's important to the plot of the movie? He littered he the bomb. He put the bomb. Did, why is I this a wondered. question? I completely like blinked and didn't. All see I remember him even is the that. guy who was smoking, and then he threw his match into the water, and like that's littering, and then it caught on fire. The oil slick on fire. And and I'm like, like, oh, oh. He's like, oh no, just. <laughs> Sprinkle some real water on it. It'll be fine. I thought that was going to come back into play. Never did. 
Ryan, did you see him put the bomb in the beginning of the movie? Because somehow I missed that. I I was smashing some. That's some why they're there. Though. Well, we fig- well, that makes sense. He started now. the that bomb. That some later questions. This isn't a question, guys. He started okay. the bomb. I thought when he was down there, here's where I couldn't remember. Yeah, I know that now, but I didn't then because I thought he had gotten teleported into another dimension underwater. One of the three of somehow. us doesn't know that. You don't know that it's another dimension? No, that he started the bomb. I didn't know he put the bomb there. See? I was smashing some T-Bell. He probably did it while- What's T-Bell? Like, it all- it's Taco, Taco Bell. Taco Bell, dog. Oh, I thought it was like some fancy drink. <laughs> oh, man. It's the well, fanciest. That, that hibiscus tea. Oh. It's pretty good. So that might have happened when I was getting some sauce. Taco's only four letters, and you shortened it down to just one. Yeah. T-Rex. That's a, there's a lot of letters Taco in Tyrannosaurus, <laughs> so I understand, Taco Rex. I understand shortening that, but I don't know. Look, that's just what we do. But he di- he die, okay? Who died? Nacho die. Nacho die. I didn't Radio see a body. Man die. Well, the demon's not fucking with you. And then we cut to Alabama. Our hero is moving his shit out of Reese Witherspoon's house. It's no longer a sweet home. What movie's that? A sweet home, Alabama. What's that about? It's about how he got the sweet home. It had like a water slide and a zip line. And then Reese Witherspoon found out he was really only there because he just wanted to use the zip line. So eventually, you know, she kicked him out. He really wanted to stay, though, because he did really just want to use the zip line. But, you know, it goes into the pool. Was that some of the son's trivia questions while driving? I couldn't remember. Was he quizzing them on Sweet Home Alabama, Kenny? No, he his trivia questions were, let me see. What was the name of the underwater weapon in Final Fantasy VII? Was it a dorkfish, Daniel? I feel like it was a dorkfish. Wait, wait. In my version, the kid wasn't driving, though. The dad was. Correct. Ryan tried to steal a Bill Ingvall joke just then, but we. I'm glad we shut that down. Here's your sign. You're all red-lipped that, batfish. No, that's a different guy. Red-lipped batfish. You might be a redneck. That's a, that's a different guy. Shit. I hate... <laughs> that might be all of them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. Time cop. Uh, time cop. Time cop. Time cop. So, okay, Sweet Home Alabama. He dumped. He dumped Reese Witherspoon. Got himself a hot little senorita. They went back to their oil town that they met at 15 years ago, and it's a total shithole now. Sorry, Kenny. 15 Mom. years, nine months. All right, sorry. 15 years, nine months. Because it turns out they got laid. So, oil man goes to. New oil town takes a local girl and sets up the town for destruction. Gets her knocked up. I don't think they met gets there. Gets them out of there. I don't think they met there either. It they was went some on other... vacation there. Yeah, they, they vacation. Mm. This was a all, holiday all, all spot. All Spanish places are the same. I, all Spanish you know. places. They're in. We've gone to yeah. Spain. Well, yeah, but they speak Spanish. You know, we don't. I like, know they speak the Spanish tinks, in Spain. Yeah, <laughs> all the tinks are the same place. All what? You know, Latin- Latinx. Latinx. Oh. No, but this is like, I feel like we don't see Baja, California that often. Or do we? Do we? I feel like we still didn't see Baja, California. I, we might have. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Daddy didn't book the hotel. No, nah, it's going to be fine. That's the great When has this place ever worked out in a movie? In a movie? Look, Never. In real life, all the time. All the okay? time, man. Us dads, we fly by the seat of our pants. And we get it done. Most of those times, those pants, racetracks. Ra- racing stripes. Is that what it's called? Pants. Racing. No, it's race tracks. tracks. What? <laughs> I'm His line dividers, Daniel. Road dividers. Line dividers. Road dividers. <laughs> I, I don't know. S- I need to make happen- another daddy drink. Hold on. Daddy. <laughs> he is just chugging Nyquil. What is that? He, says, he says, I need to make a daddy drink, and then he drinks a bottle of water. <laughs> yes, but that's Chinese water. That's straight from Chernobyl. The wolves there are developing a uh, resistance to cancer. Look, sometimes nature finds a way, and we should steal it and replicate it. Yeah, let's... I mean, is it stealing if we did later, it? We'll have solved it. Yeah, because... Well, like, we did it. If We now, did if, it, dude. If humans would go there and get our own you know, cancer resistance because we were mutating because of the reactor. Yeah, then it wouldn't be stealing, but it's not. It's wolves. Therefore, we're going to steal it from the wolves. That's right, stealing. but if we go further, why come the wolves are getting cancer now? I just, I don't... Because of the radiation. Why come there's radiation? Because we did it. We didn't invent radiation. We did it, dude. God did. It was always radiating I'm just saying, since the world's I'm been not spinning. willing to start a war with the Omega Wolves. Hmm. Where are my testicles, Summer? 
That's just a dog. Yeah, think about if that was a wolf. Hmm. Probably sound like this. Or my testicles, summer. A little deeper. You'd probably say woof. Oh, woof. Okay, look. Happy family, right? Tight family. You know? Sure. No issues here. Great. It's like goddamn Christmas vacation up in this bitch. You'd think he would speak more Spanish. You'd think he would speak more Spanish. She even's like, okay, honey, let's practice speaking Spanish to the sun. And then everyone's just like, nah. Right back to English. You you think he'd be more open to other people's cultures. Well, to be fair, their culture's stupid. But it was right. And I'm not going to visit your place and then all of a sudden start worshiping the same gods as you. That's weird. You don't have to worship the same gods as them, but you don't have to be a dismissive asshole. I understand that's hard for you. I'm not. No, I am. <laughs> have you ever been asked to pray uh, with the roast pig so that the building doesn't fall down? No, because that's crazy talk. Have you ever had to play- consult the calendar to see how the stars were going to align to choose an open house day for your kindergarten? No, because that's crazy no, we talk. We don't do stars in this at all. Well, we should do stars. Does, stars are real. Have you ever I... shot fireworks with the whole village so it just goes to goes to war with itself? I mean, that I would do. It's, that that it's so fucking fun. That sounds dangerous. Yeah. You're, you're describing shooting fireworks at each other? No, I, I not at each other, but everyone's well, firing then... fireworks off the roof, and so they're all going mm-hmm. everywhere. It's not directly at each other, so they're, but it's like an entire village is just exploding and bombing itself. I don't like fireworks. But I with, love fireworks. But in pretty colors. They're loud. Do they have shapes? Yeah, some of them. I bet they're real cheap over there. Although Why? they're starting to like lean away from them because of the air pollution it causes, and go to drones, but it, you don't get the sound effect really with the you don't get the you know that the, you, they got to start blowing up the drones. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, have you seen one of those fancy like uh, drone sh- light shows where it's like a big dragon and shit? Yes, pretty cool. Oh, lucky. You want to get into drones? I want a drone. So anyway, they're looking for the hotel, and then they find it, and it turns out it's shut down because this place is a shithole shit hole. now. It's so bad. So, something's really fucked up this town. You know what, though? We're going to figure this out. White Daddy, who's completely dismissive of all brown people, and Coon and his wife and kids, is going to go talk to the brown people. But only like, in English. Hey, man. Only in English. <laughs> I, I, made your, I made your fucking town, man. You owe me this shithole. Eh, looking real good, isn't it? Huh? Look at this town you built. Fucking oil man. El Rey here. Which, uh, Kim was like, I think that means the king. I'm like, maybe. You're probably right. I know El Jefe, I think, means the boss. I think it means the El Rey. Well, El Rey is about to uh, kick his El ass, but then El Wifo comes in and smooths things down, speaks in the Spanish, the, you know, the native tongue. She's like, hey, man, I got a little money. I'm from, like, right around the corner over here. I used to sell my chestnut men. Mm-hmm. And, like, I was a kid here. Yeah, you was probably a kid, you know, somewhere here, too. And, like, man, we are just here for the weekend. You know, we just, hey, can you find us, like, a good restaurant? Maybe, like, it's all cool. Look, here's a little money for the village. Now, that works. If it was for the village, why did she give it to that guy? Because he's the king. And the, it's trickle-down economics. He's supposed to represent this whole village? You see that sick, like, scar? I didn't vote for him. But he's the king. You don't vote for the king. Well, I didn't. Good. But he'll so take you like, on a walking right. tour. That's nice. Yeah, let's go to... Well, yeah, let's I just can leave show the car you the here. village. See our it. wondrous shit hole. We used to have nice things. But then all the birds left. A whole new world. Hmm. <laughs> A fantastic oil spill or two. Where did the birdies go? They're not Nothing here. Will grow. It's and all it downhill hasn't for rained the here in hundreds of years. Well, I guess not hundreds of years, but. Tlaloc's piss. He's very angry. So we brought Tlaloc, the Aztec god, here for protection. And I'm all like, oh, because I see the. Because El Rey puts the money with the statue. In the shrine. In the shrine. And then the little kid. He's eyeing it, and I'm like, holy shit, that kid's going to take that money. Oh, my God. Okay, he, he does it. He puts a Snickers bar up there. He takes a statue, but then he offers, he replaces it with a Snickers bar, you know, like... Uh, you know what he says, though? Uh, he he says, says... What does he say? He says, Tlaloc, you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, he said that. The whole oh. thing was a Snickers commercial. They should have given it to the Megalodon. Yeah. This is true. Well, well, I'm sure the dad had a Snickers in him. What does that mean? 
Well, then he went to the Megalodon, so then in the end, the Megalodon did get a Snickers. That dad was all nougaty goodness. I think if something that size would have to be eaten krill, to be honest, guys, I don't think he would eat people. Well, if the body parts weren't a vision, I don't think he was eating people. I think he was just chewing them like gum and then just spitting out all the little pieces. Ah, oh, well, well, ee, oh, ee. I'm on a diet. I'm getting married. I'm married. <laughs> I'm married. Get out of my mouth. Mm, yum. <laughs> the, the, yeah, we've all the been The number there. of times I've said that. Uh, seven or eight. Zero. At least. Uh, so, okay. They get taken to a little restaurant. El Rey's like, all right, man, you have a great life. It's going to be great. They're in there. Dad, El Dad is finding out, like, oh, I got to check the refinery today. They, they need me to go today. So you know what? You guys just stay here. It'll be a few hours. Stay here by yourself in this shithole town that's not at all terrifying. And uh, I'm going to give, like, a fiver to the bartender. Like, hey, man, you look after my family. Like, okay, that's totally not my job, so I'm not going to do that, but I'll take your money. And so he takes off. Uh, he gets to the dock. The dock worker dude, he tells him, like, hey, man, call the refinery. Let them know I'm coming. He's like, yeah, okay. Sure thing. Picks up the, <laughs> picks up the radio. The guy, dad turns around, walks away, puts the radio right back down. So it's like, they know they're out there. Is that going to go get them? Well, I, so I'm wondering, like, do they not want the rig inspected? Or they don't want it reopened? Did El, Di- El uh, Diamante, did that wake up the demon? And like, then wouldn't it be a good thing to have it torn down? Because it's not going to pass inspection. Why Why not radio out to the rig? Why don't they? I'm thinking they don't want this guy here, but we'll find out it's kind of the opposite. I think they probably just think everyone out there is already dead. And they blame the oil company. Well, they, sh- so. sure. and But there, we'll find out later. There needs to be a sacrifice. But kids are better. Kids are. Uh, so when we get to the restaurant sexual assault... I have a I have a different take on that. Oh, she was asking for it. That's Is right. That that sh- yeah, the little kid had to, to the had to go to the bathroom. He had to go to the bathroom. Had to go to the bathroom. He needed it. he needed it bad. What we didn't see was him tapping his foot on the wall all the way there. All the way. All kick, the way, Daniel. Kick, kick all the way. So okay, kicking my restaurant Daddy, walls. Daddy. Daddy. Fi- finds Nacho Libre's buddy, Hector, uh, played by Hector Jimenez. You know he was Espolito in Nacho Libre. Why well, I've been calling this Nacho Libre too, because it had a guy named Nacho, and then it literally had Esquilito in it. No, it's Nacho it's Libre, a, called... a Jack Black film. Yeah, so I've never seen it. There's you got something against Jack Black. Does that yeah. mean you haven't seen any Jack Black movies? Schoolhouse Rock. Okay, is that, is that one? Yeah, it's one. I mean, that's Close not the enough. name. That's not the name of the movie, but yeah, that's one. Okay, I've seen that. Okay, that's really the only one you need to see, I think. Tenacious Obviously, D? Obviously, Tenacious D in The Pick okay, of Destiny. I've, I've seen P- Tenacious D. Okay, but that's... Is that a movie? Orange County? Yeah, no. that's a movie. No orange... No, no OC. The one where the poo, the Vapu rises? That one? Yeah, Envy? No. Gotta see that one. Jumanji? I think Jumanji you two? skip those. Uh, no, I, I, Pretty I, good. I, Robin Williams, Jumanji only. Uh, Super Mario Brothers? What? He's Bowser, Would, right? He's bowed. He sings oh, that beach song. Dog. No. Yeah, I didn't see it either because I don't, I don't watch cartoons. Cartoons are for children. You're a children. You know what? You're a children. Thanks for nothing. You're welcome. <laughs> Ugh, you're a piece of shit. Jack Black's <laughs> a man. Hector Jimenez. So great. Nacho! And he's like, I ain't going past this spot, man. But I got you another boat. A drop-off point where I won't go past. But here's a boat you can take, Mr. Oil Man. It's fine. Okay. And we get back to the bar, and the wife and daughter are sitting there kind of chatting while the ba- baby boy sits there and plays on his tablet. You know, he's reading YouTube and whatnot and all that shit, getting, in a, getting a quick crash course on the local customs. A quick crash course. He's good at it. And mom's like, this place is kind of weird, man. There's something, something feels off. And the kid just nonchalantly is like, yeah, there's no birds. And we're like, and like what? Hmm, this kid is hyper observant. Like, is he like a rain man? We got a rain man situation going on with this observant. kid. I think anyone would have know anyone would have noticed there's no birds. I don't know that you you might notice that it's all quiet and stuff, but maybe you don't like it's you're gonna you're gonna be like the mom. You're gonna feel something like it's like what's kinda odd. No, I would to... I would notice that there are no birds because the government is too poor to ha- have those little surveillance drones. Well, that's outside their jurisdiction. So you're right. So there's that's why there's no birds, because birds are robots, right? Yeah, they recharge by landing on the power lines. Yep. Ross didn't cheat on Rachel. They were on break. They were, they were on, on break. break, Ryan. <laughs> they were on break. Those kids. Ugh. He's so mad at this, he has to go take a piss. 
He and says that. He says, I am so mad at you, sister, that I'm going to go take a piss. Yeah. I got to drain the old the sea serpent. Job. You know, that's my wang doodle. That's my wanger. It's like, all right. So then I'm the going town to the little man's in. room. Well, I'm a big man. I'm, I'm a big man. Man of the family. Man of the house. Now the dad's gone. Yeah. Play your cards right, toots. That's his, that's his mom. We'll get McDonald's later. Oh, with your money. Maybe some T-Bell. <laughs> T-Bell. Some T-Bell. I hope they have T-Bell in this country. I bet it's fire there. Uh. So he goes to the bathroom, and then the town rapist comes over from the bar. <laughs> And he's like, watch this. Everyone's got one. Watch this. It's like, watch this. Bartender does nothing. He's over there. He's like, not hey, watching. Bartender's not doing? watching. Guy, I told well, him to watch, and he's not even watching. He's, yeah, he's pretending to clean the glass or some shit. I don't know. Maybe should have gave him a 10 spot. To watch? And he's like, hey, look, you are you know, you want to get down with this? I'll get down with you. Oh, I'm waiting for my husband. I don't see no husband here. Oh, well, he's coming back. Uh-huh. Chugs the beer on the table. That was the son's beer, so the son's gonna be pissed. And she's like, you're gonna sit here and disrespect us? And then, like, he reaches over and, like, starts touching the daughter's arm, which, that lasted, like, a second longer than and it would've lasted with, stop. uh, me. Uh, yeah, but that still kind of lingered. And then she, she fucking did finally bottles do the him. right thing. Yeah, br- bust the bottle so, over his head. I think I... Question. Instinctively. Instinctively, we, we, uh, we slit his throat after we've hit him on the head. That aside, he drink. Is the bottle she breaks over his head the bottle he drank from? Uh, well, there were two on the I table, so tell. I don't know for sure. So, in my for me, so my theory is they're doing this because they want to get the whole family on the rig, and so they're trying to scare the rest of them oh. that way. Because they want to uh, like a big sacrifice for a bigger sacrifice for the god, and so I don't he drinks. Think he would he say, dr- "Watch this, then." See, that's that's the thing that throws a monkey wrench into my theory, unless he was meaning to say it loud enough that she would hear. Maybe. Either way. In my way, it makes the town not horrible. I mean, horrible, but not rapey horrible. Otherwise, I mean, the whole one, town is one rapey, guy. Horrible. Come on. A one whole guy. Th- it's one guy where the whole restaurant just watched him do it. And that's most of the town. That's not okay. But he's your boy. No, my boy... Uh, That's just boys being boys. Mama, just boys being uh, boys? After you hit him on the head, Mama should have uh, given him a smile. Because if, once he gets up, you're fucked. Oh, man. If if he had said to her, you need to smile more, and then when she knocks him down, she says, you should smile more, and then she cuts his throat. Yeah. And then she shoves the broken bottle up his asshole. Well, funny you should... That was very close to a book I read once. Go read my review. Anyway, stop that, Big Finn. Stop it now. <laughs> okay, so look, they they take off now. They're running out of there. Tires were knifed. Oddly enough, the the knife was left in the tire. Now you got a knife. That's a free like, knife. Oh, you got a you got a weapon now. You're in you're in business. Yeah. So it's like, well, let's make a run for the dock then, I guess, and then bribe this man to take us out. Now we see we cut back to Daddy is making it to the refinery, leaking oil fucking everywhere. He's got that top button down on his burgundy shirt, looking all spiffy and. This refinery, abandon this shit. Pepe ain't here. Pepe, Pepe ain't here. Pepe ain't here. Fucking dog. Pepe's dead. We got guys coming out of the woodwork, like, fucking geared up, like they're about to walk across town with Shaun of the Dead. Fucking machetes and clubs and shit. Two dudes, all armed and shit. And it's like, they've been playing raft. They fashion, like, a hook. They've got, like, some plastic and some wood. They've been punching trees. Like, they made the metal spear. They need to get the... They need to cook up the algae to make uh, the vine goo so they can work to make, like, a bow to make it even easier to kill the shark. Then they can get out of here. They just haven't, like, got that far yet. They just don't know that they have to get the clay and the sand to make the wet bricks that you put out, and then eventually they turn into dry bricks. And then they can make, like, the, the furnace so they can cook the stuff down. And then they can get out there and find even more people in the water world. Then they unlock more characters that they can play as. Uh, but some there's like a bear island, and then there's Wait, like you pigs. unlock characters. Yeah, dog. There's more characters you can play as. Why? Because who wants to be just those two people? I'm a a large dude now. Why don't you just let me customize the look of my character? No, we don't do that here. What year is this? We are not talking about the Robin Williams Jumanji anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? What year is this? So look, they've been, these two dudes, they've been up there, but they've been surviving, and our hero, uh, our hero, Dad, Paul, is like, look, man, I'm here for the inspection, and I don't remember if it was Junior, or if it was Chato, it's like, oh, man, you're a little late, that inspection, 
Someone left a nice little oil handprint on uh, Paul's nice burgundy shirt. His awesome new shirt. His awesome new shirt. They're like, hey, how'd you get here? Hoping for like some rescue. He's like, nah, I have to go motorboat. Like, ah, oh, man. They go running out there because they hear a noise. Here comes the family coming to be shark bait. Ooh, ha, Big ha. shadow goes under the boat. And the, I think the boy sees it. The girl puts her hand in the water, gets covered in oil. Ew, yucky. The boat guy, he don't give a fuck. He just, he just boating around. Someone shoots a flare out into the oil. I guess that's not going to start a fire. No. Because that's not how it works. Not how it works. Not how it works. And then, turns out, this movie has tremors rules. Oh, look at that. I see that little leg. <laughs> nice gams. So all of a sudden, our, uh, our two survivors on the refinery are over there banging on, like, everything they can. Banging with on the, the counter. Wrenches and shit. They're firing flares out there. They're trying to distract something to get the boat there without getting taken out by El Sharkarino. They get up there. They're all getting off the boat. The daughter falls off the boat. She's all of a sudden surrounded by a plethora of body parts. And the boat takes off. They drag her out just in time. And then the shark comes swinging through. And they hand them binoculars to watch the boat. And then a big ass shark jumps up, bites the boat. It's a big shark. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I didn't realize this was a megalodon movie. That's right, it's a megalodon. Because I didn't read the synops. You know, I didn't read the synopsis. That's okay. I wait for Daniel's synopsis. It's better. Tis better. Now we got our our movies going. Now everyone's where they need to be. We're trapped on a refinery. We got a big ass shark. We got guilt. Everyone's guilty. She feels the mom feels guilty for getting that dude killed she was mean to him she gave him oh, not enough money he didn't even get to spend well, that he money he should have known there was a shark everyone else that seems is. to know that he nobody told him <laughs> the one guy nobody told nobody told him and then they're already like telling the daughter you didn't see any fucking body parts all right you didn't see that shit it's just oil i'm like one day those bodies might be oil that's true but it'll take a while a long time now then we cut to them I think they're getting some, like, of that Hispanic hot chocolate. You know, where's Baja? Is that California? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Baja? You mean Baja? No, they said it funny a few times. The subtitles even spelled it differently. Now, do, do you remember they, they get on the rig? Yeah, Rigs. I remember that. They're there for most of the movie. Yeah, and as soon as they get off, so they go away, they look at the shark, that's fine. And then, they get, you know, daughter's wet. And then a stranger comes up to mommy <laughs> and says, I will dry off your daughter, mommy. And she says, thank you, stranger. Please go somewhere on this rig where I cannot see and dry off my daughter for me. We just got almost sexually assaulted, but go ahead. Typically, that doesn't happen more than once in a day. So she's playing the odds there. So they had that hot chocolate, though. Like, if it's anything at all, like the abuelita, like the Mexican hot chocolate, uh-huh. that shit is so good. It's got a little kick well, I mean, to it. Why, it would be Mexican chocolate, wouldn't it? I don't know they're, where these guys are from. They're, but they're in Mexico. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're Mexican. This white dude's in Mexico. He's not Mexican. Well, you don't know that. Same as... See, you're just, you're just assuming things. Paul Sturgis. Right. Estevez. <laughs> the third. Paul Sturgestevez. Sturgestevez. Emilio. So, my question at this point is, why would the shark not eat the entire body? Why would there just be limbs? Yeah, I don't know how that would even happen, because his mouth is so big. So goddamn big. But then they're like, nah, man, it just, it's the demon. It makes you see things. I'm like, oh. I guess it makes you see things. But at this point, I'm not believing that. I I believe it's just a megalodon. Megalodon, yeah. Megalodon. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then they got statues up on the shelf that are the same as the one the kid takes. And I'm like, I think at this situation, you would have rather had the Snickers. True. Yeah. Yeah. Because you took that statue, but then you go to a place where they already have those statues. But they don't but, have Snickers. Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing any Snickers up on a shelf. Uh, yeah, no Snickers. Chato tells them, like, nah, man, we're the only ones here. Some people got eight, some people evacuated. Now, if people evacuated, would they have not tried to send help? They pre- they, I imagine, it's like, when he says some people at, some people evacuated, I think he means some people were eating here. And some people tried to evacuate, and they got eaten out there. Okay, so some people were eaten by the shark, and some people were eaten on the refinery to survive. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're all eating people here. That's Mar- that makes Maritime sense. law dictates if we run out of Snickers bars, I eat you. I eat you. So anyway, he says 
that's not it says that's a megalodon and the guy's like oh that you know that doesn't exist that shark that's that shark doesn't exist he's like nah megalodon ain't a shark like no it's not it is not a shark what is it i don't know but it's not a shark i bet if you google it what is a megalodon all right i'll wait megalodon what is it what is a megalodon uh, you know what? You know what? It is. A sh- it's an extinct species of giant mackerel shark. I don't think it's this big, to be honest. <laughs> well, I do things with the camera angle that kind of help. You got to light it properly. A uh, fossil record indicates that it had a cosmopolitan distribution. So think about that. What does that mean? You guys don't know what that means? Like he had a, he subscribed to Cosmo. It means it's a. Uh highly adaptable to a range of climate and environmental conditions though this is not always so so he is but isn't always he could be but not maybe sometimes not also be the duality of shark the man. duality of shark man ooh ha ooh ha ha all right look megalodon not a shark but he is a shark toro that's a mean name for a dog for a little dog yeah well don't look him in the eye I wanted them to look him in the eye and then for the little dog to bite their fucking face. Bite one of their noses off. And then Daddy's like, ha, I'm going to go solve this problem because uh, I'm white oil man savior. At this point, though, I'm thinking like, you know what? I'm digging this movie. I thought it was going to be some poorly shot bullshit, but it's good. Uh, better than shark bait. Which one was shark nobody bait? S- nobody stole a jet ski. Oh, was that one? Ooh, ha, ha. Right, instead they stole from Mother Nature. Stole from Mother Nature, now. The oil, the lifeblood of the planet. Turns out, Nixon oil, they knew. What? They knew this whole time this place was leaking oil everywhere, falling apart, and... And they covered it up? It covered Surely it up. Surely our now, oil man didn't help with that. Paul seems fucking surprised. Why, he, what? Like, yeah, if, I, if I get Pikachu out of here... Face. Yeah. I'm going to feed their balls to Toro. Like, all right, whatever. It's fine. We still got the auxiliary. It's all- And there goes the auxiliary. The shark like, keeps well, ramming the th- place. Why do he do that? Ram- it's rude. Real black demon. Now they're like, let's go. Let's go jump in the water. Let's go do that. We got a dive bell. It's like, yeah. Well, you see what he did to the boat. That thing's like solid steel shit, man. I'd love to see him bite down on that. Like, okay, you will. I don't care how hard the thing is. Doesn't I mean, it can't grab it and sail away with it. Sail. Well, he doesn't have to sail away, he just has to take it lower and lower than it's supposed to be. Yeah. This guy seems to just not have a lot of real patience for his wife. She's whiny. Like, in the opening scene, they seem like a great family. Ever since then, horrible, horrible relationship dynamic. He's... He's working! He's dismissive of her and other people's cultures. <laughs> he will listen to nothing, and this is his fault. And it's like, well, I did it for you, so it's kind of your fault, too. Did it for the money. It's actually, the money. it's not we a gotta... bad gig. Like, you get that job, and then it turns out you don't actually have to do anything, and they're just going to pay shy you? Paper. Oh, my like, God. You're, you're, like, worst case scenario, you become an escape boat. <laughs> <laughs> worst case. But you get, look. Long pay <laughs> Long paper. It's like, look, we're going to, look, this is your new job. We're going to send you to, like, a third world country. I don't think we're Mexico's you a, a third world country. Uh, listen to some people in this country say it. Uh, it is. They're all drug drug people and rapists there, which, I mean, this town isn't really helping their cause. <laughs> you, we'll send you there. We'll give you, a, like, a 15-year-old bride. Go walk around a plant, hang out with the dudes, being dudes. And then you just fudge some paperwork, and then you're good. Why didn't they just make the plant better? Why would they want to do that? Because then you're going to get more oil. No, that's not the... You think getting more oil is the point of the oil game? I thought so. <laughs> no, man, it's to get that good press when you fix the bad thing that you cause bp is doing better than ever bp richmond would not stand for this he would stomp his little dinosaur feet in his little office oh he wouldn't like it he wouldn't like this at all his adorable little feet so the auxiliary out we got to go down there and we have to weld something back together to get the jenny back on and we got some uncomfortableness Going on, the lady, the wife snaps at Junior, who's just trying to tell the kids, like, go play some fucking Monopoly and shit. And she's like, oh, we ain't getting comfortable here. It's like, nah, man, you probably should get comfortable, lady. You're going to be there for a bit. Not that long, though, because there is a bomb. There is a bomb, which we're 
Literally. I don't know how it got there. Nacho put it there at the start of the movie. No. Now, Paul ain't letting them talk about the fucking curse, and nobody can say Tlaloc except for, you know, Chato and Junior. Yeah. Tlaloc. They're like... But like every time they talk about this curse, Paul gets mad. That's his white guilt coming in. And we find out because he has actual guilt. Because <laughs> this is his fucking fault. Like, no, nah, man. Why would I, like, this ain't no god out here getting vengeance on us for destroying the thing. Whatever, it's just a shark, man. This ain't, I, I didn't do nothing wrong. But then, you know, there's like, nah, man. Tlaloc, people got greedy and then they got got. And they brought out this beast from extinction by Tlaloc himself. And it'll mess with your mind and put body parts in your daughter's head. And yeah, that's why she saw the body parts. Because while you were gone, Ryan, we discussed the fact that the shark wouldn't just leave a smorgasbord of delicious body part morsels lying around its mouth too big. It's swallowing people whole, much like your mom. Uh, and Tlaloc won't let it rain? This dude. What a dick. You're in the sea, right? Right. So that's your domain. You don't get to say what goes on in the air. Yeah. Dude's overstepping. He's overstepping big time. Now, if you recall, the mother wanted the kids there on this trip so they could start to get kind of in touch with, you know, her side, her culture. And I think they're getting that culture right now. That's pretty good. Dad's real dismissive of it still, but they're getting that crash course on culture. And that's great. Now, my question is, why doesn't the white man just let them talk about their God? It doesn't change what he needs to do. It's annoying that they're wasting time doing it. Let them talk. He's the one. He says he's going to go do all this work, man. It's not solution-oriented. Yeah, but causing conflict over it is not uh, helping either. It's just... But we find out it's just... It makes him uncomfortable because he's he's the one who has caused... Is your God more powerful than C4 Explosive? No. No. My God is an awesome God. He reigns. But C4... Well, it ain't C3, you know? Yeah, that's a robot from Star Wars. Get out. Now, dive bells are cool. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> like science man that's not it science cool. I went that down was gifted to him by a different the black god flag. oh taco bell taco bell Brian, how do you feel about subnautica it's a good game how do you feel about subnautica 2 it's going to be a good game mm, wow very insightful <laughs> that's good good stuff i agree i agree i have high hopes for subnautica 2 me personally the dive bell gets eaten. yeah okay look but Chato but they both make it junior. out of it oh yeah well out of, Most of them. Out of the dive bell, they made it out. Yeah. Paul doesn't go down because they don't think he's going to weld fast enough. So Chato and Junior go down to weld the thing up. Chato goes out, does the welding, but after Junior goes out first, because it's like, who goes down first? That's what Junior asks. And Chato says, you, of course. Junior, why me? Chato, I don't want to make Toro an orphan. The, see? That's the dog. He's good dog dad. That is a good dog. They're out there. I see this random, like, digital clock showing up. I'm like, what's this goddamn timer? And then there's more body parts. So this bomb just literally came out of nowhere for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is this bomb actually there? Because I'm thinking maybe that's another vision. And then, well, the, yeah, the eyeball, the eyeball aggressively turning around in the water to look at Junior tells me like, oh, no, there are his visions. No, that's These just a just... weird looking fish. Ooh, I don't know all the fish. So that could be true. I doubt anyone knows all the fish. There's some freaky fox out there in the sea. Freaky fucking fish, dudes. Well, it's... It's not good. Chato, he's there welding. Junior gets a scurred, and he swims back to the dive bell, all a scurred because of the body parts. And he's hiding in there, and he's bracing himself like he's got to take a poop over the hole in the bottom of the dive bell, and he should have. And Chato's like, he gets his job done, and he's kind of freaking, so he just starts to swim back. Dive bell gets grabbed, and he's getting dragged down. Paul's up there, like, banging on the button, like, hey, man, stop, uh, stop, stop dragging the bell down. Like, hey. That's not yours. It. Not yours. And then, like, it gets all the way down. Yes, yeah, this Insta was down, I guess. Are you guys talking about the and gram? The gram. And the bell gets, like, chopped in half or some shit. And Hunyor also gets chomped in half. But Chato makes it out. He wouldn't get chomped in half. Right, but he didn't implode. He got chomped in half. If this was now, a littler shark, he would get chomped in half. Yeah, now look. This is Chompy and the girls, the shark. Chompy and the girls and the shark. <laughs> uh, yeah. He was. Uh, dad, re- dad reaches out into the water to help Junior get out of the water and just lips off that half a torso like it's nothing. Baby girl's staring out the window. Baby girl's going to need some therapy. All the bodies she's been seeing up in this 
Biatch, not to mention the almost sexual assault. This has not been a good trip for her. Uh, one star on Yelp. And it just chucks Junior's body back in. It's fine. So now they're they're all like hyped up. Dad's in there. He's like, nobody's going to take my family from us. He's got taken brain. So now he's like going hard. Yeah, well, who's going to yell at? The shark? Doesn't believe in it. Uh, he tells us why everything's going to be all right. It, look, it's it's fine. Now, now he's... She's, they're arguing now. So went from they're fine with each other. Now they're arguing. Like, how does that help? How does that help, Paul? You're over there yelling at her for even being there. You didn't give her a chance to say why she was there. Like, oh, okay, I could have stayed in town and let him run a train on, you know, me and the kids. Like, that's fine. Everyone loves Mexican train. That's a Domino's game. I thought Mexican train was like a band. Oh, hell yeah. They just do covers of a train in, train in Spanish. Mexican version. Yeah, it's great. Uh, look, that's just, that's not good. That makes, that she starts apologizing. Like, why the fuck are you apologizing? So that part, that whole thing, I didn't think that was especially well written because I feel like in real life, the wife would have immediately been like, oh, so you wanted me to stay in town where you left us to get sexually assaulted by the villagers. The Minecraft villagers? Those little yeah, guys? The, oh. the piglins were gonna, oh. we're gonna chestnut man you. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, so I'll, no, no the not green guys. the creepers go tss. And then boom. And then boom. The villagers go, oh. Yeah, he's turning into a real asshole. Real asshole. I, the writing, this is the part where I start thinking the writing gets a little bit sloppy because their dialogue, their interactions there just don't feel right. There's no way that lady doesn't, uh, you know, bring that up immediately. And like, she, I would, she has no reason well, to it's apologize. A fairy tale, so. Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. Doesn't even matter, though. You know what? We're going to go hang out with Chato. The uh, son's asking where Junior is. Yeah, daughter's the only one holding it together. Lying to Junior, or lying about Junior. Yeah, he's in the electric room. He'll be oh, back cool. later. cool, I'll go to the electrical room to help him. Yeah, all sorts of lying. Just fine. They didn't even check a pulse for Junior, by the way. They could have cauterized the wound. Mm. Just saying. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's not. That's, <laughs> that's not how, that how works. that works. You don't grow up. That's how that you works. You don't grow. Up. <laughs> it's not, it's fine. You put those shoes on his hands. And Chato's got a new shirt on. It's like, oh, it's looking good. It's like, nah. Look, Junior gave me the other shirt. I just couldn't wear that anymore. It's like, oh man. I thought you took it partner. off because it was gross. Now, because you were just in the in the yeah. oil water. And then you know, them and me were all like, how did the bomb even get there? <laughs> Like, was it there before or after the shark? The bomb's always been there. Bomb's always been there. Taco put it there. Not Taco. Nacho put the it there. Toro. No, oh, n- Nacho. Nacho. Toro's no. the dog. Toro put it there. The dog. Doesn't matter. Let's get drunk now. But you know what? We're we're going to be friends for a second, just like the wife and husband were on good terms for a second. I, was, it, I wasn't talking. <laughs> 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 Do you have something you need to say, Ryan? <laughs> Burgundy bitch. Yeah, they were drinking buddies for like 30 seconds, and now they're fighting. He gets punched in the face. He needed that punch. Shove your Aztec bullshit right up your ass. All right, you company puppet dog. So either, so the, the Paul here has two things. One of two things. It's either a mutant freak from the negligence, like he says, or a punishment from God, like Chato says. How does that change? what we are dealing with here. It doesn't change what you need to do because there's a bomb. Right, because Toro put a bomb there. And he really ruined this bonding moment. And uh, now our little boy, Baby he's boy. already done all this research. Tiny boy. And so he knows all about Tlaloc and knows that sacrifices need to be made to protect the king. And then he looks over at the dog and I thought he was going to chuck the dog in the <laughs> ocean. <laughs> That's why you said that. In Tlaloc's case, he preferred children. They would rip their fingernails out to get them crying before Chuck slitting their dog. throats. Now, this is the kind of YouTube information my oldest daughter likes to get. She'll come over with the most random, morbid fucking facts. Not all of them are real, because it is YouTube. YouTube is 2023 and 2024's Wikipedia. Only Wikipedia had trusted knowledge. YouTube is chaos. Little boy, though, says waterways. That's a key word. Word of the day. Waterways. Why? How does that help them? They reroute the cooling system to the generator, and that fixes it. Because he didn't they say the word. Red shirts. He didn't understand. He didn't think. Well, but uh, Chato got the welding done while he's underwater. 
No, I think they still had to go underwater to do the first part. But apparently they haven't tried to fix the radio this entire time. New new plan. I don't think his name's Tommy. It is Tommy. Oh. <laughs> Tommy Sturgis. Tommy Sturgis? So, That's the name of a fish? You notice he didn't put a junior on there. Well, he didn't have half a half a statue. Yeah, but he wasn't supposed to know that. That's true. He doesn't know that. Plot hole. He's a smart kid, though. He knows. So he's out there doing that. Chato's in there helping Paul, because he's like, yeah, I'll go help him anyway, even though he's an asshole, and I'm pretty sure I know who he is at this point, but whatever. They're in there. It's like, okay, we gotta cut this one, cut this one, you know, weld it, but we gotta turn these valves off. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, mine's... But this one's stuck! It's got this! Chato just reaches over there, turns it, he makes him look like a wimpy boy. He loosened it for him. The wimpy boy, the wimpy paw boy. Yeah, but do you see that oh, guy's hands no. compared to other guys' hands? They're way oh, bigger. Big hands. Got big hands. Now they need to. Now they need to craft a hook. They need to gather lumber and plastic. Maybe make some shrines and look at sad oil spill pictures, and then see Paul's name all over paperwork talking about the global consequences of a leaking refinery. And I'm like, is that real or is that more visions to fuck with like the mom? No, that's real. It was, it was real. I don't know why that would be there though. I'm not sure, because they're going to blow the place up, so it's not like... Now, this kid picks up on the customs quick. No, it's... it's, it's it, Brian, is it? if you keep interrupting, so help me God. God. <laughs> like, this kid pick. Oh, no! Oh, no! Maybe not. Well, I feel like, at this point, I'm like, if Paul knew, why would he have been so surprised? Well, he's not surprised that it's leaking. Right, so that was the, the trick that he didn't know it was that bad. And then Tommy's dumbass. Yeah, 15. Because he hasn't 15. been here since then. He's just been signing off on the papers. Sign off. Tommy's dumbass gets uh down there next to the water, puts a little boat out there, gets rocked into the water. Everyone's like, Tommy! And it's like, everyone's getting in the water to get Tommy's dumbass. Dad's doing trimmers rules, banging shit, trying to distract the shark. He barely gets out. He loses his wrench. Mom jumps in there. You know, to, now, okay, this is where the movie did not have balls, all right? So, when she's hanging Tommy off out. the edge, and then the yeah, music cuts, off the like, edge. the tense music stops, but then they hang on her for a beat. She should have been and yoinked. they're staring at each other she from, been like, yoinked. a distance. Yeah, they should have killed the mom right there. I thought for sure she was fucking gone. And then, she confronts Paul, and his dumbass did know. And like, it's complicated. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you guys' marriage is over now. Like, uh... This was, I did this for you. I did this for, I had a family to take care of. Like, yeah, no, you killed this entire fucking town, Paul. This is a blood money family. You are the monster, Paul. Oh. We got, yeah, that's harsh. Now we got one hour left on this random ass bomb. Where'd that bomb come from? Right? Now the power's back, though. But we're gonna get wasted. Yeah, and Paul's gonna start talking to Chato. Like, hey, man, this place, outside federal jurisdictions, let them set up their own standards. And then this place was fucking beautiful. I was just hired on here. It's my first job. I came out here and she failed her first test. She failed everything. I hoped I could fix her. Turned in the report, had all the issues on it. And the very next day they brought me in They're like, hey, Paul, talk to you for a second. Do you uh, do you like this nice new job you got? Do you like this nice burgundy shirt? Do you like this new I love uh, the burgundy wife shirt. you got? That's, you know, this new baby you're about to have. And this new house and everything you're buying. You know, do you like all that? Yeah. Well, you're going to maybe uh, need to change this report or we're going to find someone else who will. Oh. Um. Yeah, I can do that. I can I can do that. I can change the report for you. Then can... you become a whistleblower for the government. And then uh, you can become a government inspector, which I'm not sure why they have their own inspectors. Cause well, because we're outside the jurisdiction. We so investigated they don't have to... ourselves, and we found we did nothing wrong. Right. Well, no, this is so they can they can have the full escape boat. Like, oh, we had an investigator. He was telling us everything was fine, so we thought everything was fine. But you got to have an investigator for the investigator. Well, they don't because they're outside of the federal jurisdiction. I don't think so that's required. a thing. I don't know, man. We got one environment, dog. We got one world, one planet. We are the world. We are the youth. Yeah. Youth of a nation. So, and he's like, okay, I was talking to Kim about this. I'm like, all right, look, I, the, first, the first day or whatever, the first time doing it, like, you're kind of in a tough spot. Maybe you think, like, okay, you pass this, but then you can go through, like, they're still going to run their finer, but you get a chance to maybe fix it. Maybe after the first year or two, though, and you're still signing off and shit. Like, y'all ain't going like, to fix this, are you? 
Yeah, that's when you kind of start turning whistleblower and you get that shit taken care of. So I'm not completely blaming him for the first one because, you know, hey, if he gets fired, well, how's he going to you know, effectively blow the whistle on this bullshit? It's gonna oh, be he's harder. been undercover this whole time. Whole time. 15 years taking his paychecks undercover. So I, what a hero he turns into the he turns into the bad guy. But I'm still like this whole time. This place has been failing the test. How are they making any goddamn money without collecting any fucking oil? Well, they're still collecting oil. I think the test is like, are you leaking like a little bit? Yeah. Is this thing going to is this thing going to leak a lot a bit later? Yeah. And then it kind of dawns on our characters like, wait a minute. They specifically like, you got to go do this today, dude. Like today. You they gotta get brought out there. you here to die. Yeah, they're going to blow your ass up. Chato's loving it. Yeah. I was like, I didn't know they were literally trying to kill you. And he's like, yeah, Nixon, they are making me the escape boat. And I, let me tell you, Daniel, I laughed. Did you laugh when they talked about a scapegoat? When they, yeah, yeah, when they said escape boat. Yeah. Yeah, like it literally, I was like, I was like, oh, Brian has the fucking subtitles on so he can see what the hell this person's saying. Yeah. Now, Polly boy, he's going to turn it around now. Burgundy shirts off. Okay. <laughs> Muscles out. Time to go disarm that bomb and get more drunk and looking more buff. And then I'm thinking, you know what? Chato welds. If they could find the other half of Junior. What, weld them back together? Weld them back together. Mecha Junior? Mecha Junior. They're... So we got Mecha Junior back because he's been welded back together by Chato. Right. And now uh, Daughter is going to use her nail polish and some styrofoam and maybe some gasoline to make liquid napalm. No. I thought, look, as soon as I started melting the styrofoam and the chemical, I thought they were making napalm. I, uh, I don't know how you make napalm, but it was pretty, pretty sure obvious what they were styrofoam. doing. I thought it was nail polish. No, she had nail polish, too. But I, I think napalm is stupidly easy to make. Well, let me just... Uh, Agree to do no research and yes. Let me just... Not get taken out by the government. Look at my anarchist cookbook here. So, she's making glue. Would you believe that patches. chicken rice is a recipe in that? <laughs> I, I would. That thing creates all sorts of anarchy all over the kitchen floor and the stove and just, you know, er, where it's real bad, but tastes so good. So she's little daughter. She finally has her part to play other than keeping little boy saying baby boy they're making glue to make patches for the one raft that's left that has a whole bunch of holes in it. So she she's played some raft. So that's good. Yeah. So they're going to do that. Polly boy's all amped up now, you know, with his great white guilt trying to turn it around. After his conversation with Chato. Well, he's got a seven point plan, right? Right. And it's fine. Nacho Libre's friend is out there. He heard part of the Mayday call uh, from Chato, who was trying to fix the radio, finally, for the first time this whole time. And he's thinking about coming out. That'll pay off later. El Ray and El Nacho, I think they're going to get together, possibly, because El Nacho's friend is there. Not Nacho in this movie, but Nacho Libre friend is there at the shrine and El Rey's like nah man let Talaluk do his job okay let him finish his work but like he looks at the Snickers and he's like nah man kid gave him a Snickers wait he's like Talaluk you ain't I didn't you aren't I didn't yourself see the scene you didn't the scene see the scene with them at the shrine no oh okay well this happened god you missed a crucial scene <laughs> in this movie right there huh well, maybe I just didn't see the scene you know the same way the same way you didn't see the bomb scene yeah, it wasn't very long. Now, okay. What's the plan? Plan is, I'm going to go down there, because I know something that only us red shirts know, and I'm going to close this valve that's above the leak. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's going to fix the leak. Wow, only, uh-huh. only red shirts know about the shutoff valve? Yeah, well, I joke, that's not really what's happening. What he's doing is he's closing off a pipe, but because he's got the power back on, he's going to trigger some emergency... Um, it's some blowback thing. Blowback thing. So what it's going to do is trigger this clamp that's going to actually shut off. Like it's going to close the entire fucking well. So like it's going to no oil is going to come out of there anymore, which is good because the whole fucking refinery goes down in the end. So it's like, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to take the bomb. I'm going to trigger this thing. And then I'm going to go in the dive bell. And then the shark's going to try to eat me. But I'm going to drop the bomb in its mouth. And then it's going to blow up and I'm going to be fine. And and he'll get Chaco's blasted like, to safety. Blasted to safety. Chato's like, don't you mean burgundy shirt? And then they like, they slap hands together, then they grip, and they start flexing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that's real good. Real good. Now, look, I, I'm just like, all right, but how do you stay away from the inside of the shark? Well, you stay away from his mouth. Yeah, it's like mm. playing Operation. Hmm, buzz, buzz. Yeah, 
Well, it wants me. I'm desirable. Wants okay, me, but you get my family bad. out of here. The little, little girl's like, should we pray? But I'm like, but to who? And they're like, you know how to pray? And I said, yeah, let's pray. Dear Lord of the Sea, dear Lord dear of the Lord Nectar. Dear Lord Triton, let us venture into your realm, but not let us be eaten by any of your shark servants. Dear Lord of the Dance, the Feet of Flames. Michael Flatley. Forgive us, Michael Flatley. And now we, Forgive she little, forget g- less. On God, amen. On God, no cap. She wasted her goddamn time. We're down to ten minutes. And he's out there. He's not. He wasn't even going to tell the family the plan. He's just like, I'm going. And the mama comes out. And she's like, what? You can't go out there with that monster? And he's like, Ugh, that's not the monster. Remember? I'm the monster. Callback. Because she called him a monster earlier. That's a callback. Okay? But he, he's like, but he didn't let me finish. In bed. And it gives her like a little like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah. And then she like, said, man. she said, oh behave, oh behave. And he's like, my mind is clear. It's like the ocean is like the womb. And I'm gonna blow it up with C4. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up with C4. It tells Chato, your family now too, bud. And then now we got to do our Jaws reference, but it's really gross. I got no spit. And then it's like Chato, he has Chato spit in the mask. Wouldn't you have your wife spit in the mask? Why do you for need you? to spit in the mask? It keeps it from fogging up. You can't just have water in there? Nope. Why does it have to be spit? I mean, I'm sure there could be other substances, but spit works. It's a diver's trick. But you can just use the seawater? Nope. Hmm. Weird. Ah, it is weird. It's something about the condensation and fogging up from your, your, you know. It's on the inside. It's on the inside. I still would have, you know. Yeah. I also would have put all of my gear on before I jumped in the water instead of jumping in the water. I'm sure there's a reason why you didn't. I bet it's because the flippers, because I don't know why. You break your ankle when you jump in with the flippers. I don't well, know. He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to jump in. He can. That's why they do the backwards fall. Oh, and it's adorable. Because if they fo- if they would fall forwards, they would fall on the. Now he's sinking real fast because he's got those divers weights, and then you let the divers weights drop to the ocean floor when you're ready to like be at that level. How do you get the divers weights back? Or are divers just leaving fucking weights everywhere? That seems They're like pollu- a costly These divers fucking... are fucking polluting the ocean, bruh. There's got to be something I'm missing to the diver's weights. I don't think you're supposed to drop them like that. Yeah, but then how do you get back? Do you just swim back to the surface with them on, even though they're pulling you straight down? Yeah. That sounds exhausting. This whole movie's exhausting. All this running back and exhausting. forth and swimming. Oh, oh my been God. exhausting in this movie. Yeah, he is. Ah, he goes my in the water immediately, immediately eaten. What about your little leggers? Are they tired? No, because only half no. of me. Because I did the mirror trick. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Scientists don't want you to know about the mirror trick. <laughs> they hate this trick. It would have been funnier if he was immediately eaten. He gets down there, he cuts off the bomb, just drops his bolt cutter. So those cost money, just like the dive waste, you son of a bitch. He goes close, this is that one valve that stops the leak. He's a fucking genius. He starts welding something. I'm like, should I be watching this weld? That seems dangerous. Oh, for your eyes? For my eyes, yeah. It triggers the thing, it just pinches off the pipe. Now it's shark time. Shark, slow ass shark. Okay, big boy, I guess. And he finds this he explosive get... from somewhere. Yeah, it's did so he bring weird. that down there with him? Where'd that come from? Uh, Toros, the dog shit it out. He ate an explosive earlier and just now shit it <laughs> Sometimes out. Sometimes I eat explosives. <laughs> We've all been there. He goes and he swims up under a little like inside a little metal like structural support thing, and then he starts giving his goodbye speech to his family as they're on a little boat. And he's like, nah, man, this was the plan all along. It was an Armageddon plan, like in that movie Armageddon, where, like, one of us was going to have to and die. And one guy threw the through. short straw, but then Bruce Willis is like, no. Man, you take care of my baby girl. And then the, the Aerosmith, just Aerosmith, Aerosmith, Aerosmith song goes. Air Supply. Air Supply song goes. Air and Supply. Just, stay awake. A little just, longer. Uh, whoa. Stay a little bit longer. Stay a little bit sharky. Because uh, he's giving all these goodbyes, and I'm like, oh, uh, and, uh, daughter, you had the raft in you all along. He <laughs> said that. He says that, kind of. And, like, and, and son, I said you. you. <laughs> right? And son, you have the pirate courage. You're the captain now. And he says, and honey, don't remarry. <laughs> Tell us celibacy in my honor. And Chato, I left you a little present. You can be the whistle. You're the whistleblower now, Chato. But Thanks, honey, the biggest thing is don't remarry. Don't remarry. Yeah, what was that fucking movie where the the person was? I think it was a comedy where the person's dying. Just like whatever you do, don't don't remarry. And the guy's like, what? Huh? Like was was that a scary movie? Maybe I don't know. Might have been. I don't know. Cracks my shit 
up. He doesn't say that, but he wants to. So I'm like, dude, just drop the bomb and then swerve, okay? The shark is slowly swimming up at him. And he's like s- slowly dropping down. It's like, just let the bomb go and maybe swim back up a little bit or something. Maybe the explosion still gets you. But no, he just slowly drifts down into the shark's mouth. Shark's like, count this little well, gentle. Well, it's not got the you in there. C4 that explodes the shark. It's his sacrifice that explodes the shark. It's his love? Yeah. What this the still hell does that mean? Too easy. Well, he needed a sacrifice to defeat him, so his sacrifice defeated the shark. And they preferred children, and Paul had a, as a baby dick. And it turns out they need a child's dick. Yeah, they just didn't want to write that down, because that's, they didn't very, that's that weird. Down. They Nobody thought that writes was that weird. Down. Very odd. Chato's like, that's one badass white boy. And then the boat shows up with Nacho Libre's friend, and it's like, you know, half a not even half a football field away from them, and they fire a flare to catch their attention. Like, they're right there. I don't think you need to use a flare gun at that point, but I bet it was fun. He's got, if you got the, you got it to use it, because at this point, the main boss is beaten. What are you saving your fucking supplies for? Yeah, just blow them all off. Now, new dad, Chato, you know, he's ready to be step up, be the man they all needed. They got a dog now, good family unit. Maybe they can stay there, get all that culture. The rig went down, but the well should still be sealed, so that's good. So he saved the environment. Now, we hit the credits. There should have been one of those, like, news report, like, coverage things going on during the credits where they're talking about the refinery and then going through, like, all the punishments and the sanctions being put on Nixon. No. Th- oh, wait. They did They did sneak the papers out. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I would have preferred that going on. Just but so even, we could even see, like, then, those papers big, just show that he going down. lied on the reports. Yeah, but, they, but people got out of there. They can tell the whole story now. <sighs> I'm not going to believe them. What are they going to tell them? They tell them what the dead guy said? Yeah. Oh, so you're making it up. Or they can use the stuff as potential blackmail. Like, look, maybe they'll believe me, maybe they won't. But if you want to take the risk, why don't you just give me some money? They go to California. I know they're already there, but they go further to California. They go to the the big oil headquarters. They go inside, and they summon the demon shark inside the building. See, that would be smart. That's thinking. I don't think that's going to do much, because sharks need clean drinking water, too. Mm, It's in their faucets, Daniel. It's in their pipes. Go Shark. That's a movie we could watch. We, we're not going to. But we're we not could. going to. We could. But we could. By well, unanimous not decision. That's we not could. what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm more thinking that we continue to watch good Shark movies, not a lot of the other shit we've watched. Like The Shallows and this are and good Shark movies. And The la 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 lows Yeah, did you guys like this movie? Yeah, I do. I do wish they would have just leaned all the way into the supernatural headspace aspect of it. Yeah, that would have been that cool. That would have really made this stand out. Right now, it's pretty, it's, it's fun. I wish that you had more consistently participated in the conversation. Yeah, that would have been good. Can I tell you that after the laptop said, I'm going to turn off on you now. And I said, oh, oh you're going to do what? And then it did. And so then I came out into my living room and um, I went to go use the computer and uh, the wifey said, no, I need to use it. And I said, well, I've been in the room for 90 minutes <laughs> at letting you use the computer for the 30 you said. What have you been doing? And she said, I've just been laying here. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> well, sharing is caring. <laughs> sharing is caring. Y'all and you know what? Unlike, unlike Paul and his wife, we made it work. She's dead, isn't she? That's why his camera's <laughs> not fed on. Her to the, to the, the demon shark. <laughs> She's been fed to the demon shark. She is your monster. Yeah, this is a good time. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Maybe should have got a little bit more uh, money behind uh, advertising it. It does say on the top of the poster, based on the Mexican legend. It is a real legend. That sure. Ch- that Why Chipotle not? will summon a thing. Okay. Yeah. A thousand fishermen have died facing this creature due to the fact that their bodies are never found. Well, that's just it's people It's also the being killer of hundreds sea. of whales. That's just dead whales. Found dead along the Pacific Ocean. That's just dead whales washing ashore. And what appears to be an attack from a huge beast. It has been seen in the Mar de Cortez, too. I'm sorry, what? Is that a movie? Uh, or a region, I don't know. What do I look like? Uh, Hector Jimenez? Let's talk about Hector Jimenez movies. Okay, so he's in Nacho Libre, which is great. But he was also in this movie that I own called Killer Pad that was directed by Robert England. That is fantastic. Okay, we're going to watch it at some point. I'm going to make us watch it. Yeah, I think you watch it. So you're telling me in this house, we've got goddamn squatters. Robert England's finest directed movie. I can think of one other thing he directed. I'm pretty sure he directed 666 Evil. 
What, the remake? No, the, I think he did the original. The original? Oh. Yeah, but I'm telling you, Killer Pad's better. Yeah, oh, 976 Evil, sorry. 789. <laughs> Apparently he directed two episodes of Freddy's Nightmares as well. Well, so, you know, not a lot of directing there. Not a lot. He was also... Do we need to be in... doing this? No. Yes, because he is the best character actor He's in not this in this thing. movie. He is. Robert England is not in this movie. No, not no. I'm not going down. I, we're we're done with Robert. I'm back on Hector. We don't need okay? to be doing Hector this. Hector Jimenez. Okay, he was in Wild Hogs. <sighs> he, he was in Epic Movie. He was in The Black Demon. What's that about? A shark. Oddly enough, what are some other shark movies you'd recommend? <laughs> Jaws. Mm-hmm. That's it. But I would recommend The Beast. Obviously, not a shark uh, I'd though. Rec- I'd recommend The Meg and The Meg Two. Deep, shark Knight. Deep Blue. See? Deep Blue C3. Got a parrot in it. That's true. Or maybe not a parrot. It's got some sort of a bird. I don't fuck. I don't Macaw. know. Macaw. I don't know birds. Um, Scooby Doo and Zombie Island. Right. The Return. Um, The Return. No. Now, with the mind fuckery going on here, I think I would probably recommend Outwaters. Deadly Premonition. Oh. What's that about? Uh, it's about like a family man in a game. And he has to go solve some family crimes, like who took the cookie from the cookie jar. That is a family crime. <laughs> it's a family crime. Yeah, no, I like this movie. I'd, pro- I'd watch it again, probably. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was. A lot better. Well, as soon as I like, I, I, I recognize Paul, and I'm like, oh, this has an actual like known actor in it, Josh Lucas. Interesting. And then I'm like, oh, well, all these underwater shots look pretty cool. No. Like the effects. I thought the, the underwater looked look good. shit. It was covered in oil. That was the point, Daniel. You just don't understand oil. You're going to tell this greasy guy that he greasy doesn't guy. understand oil? He doesn't oil? understand oil? I was made by it. Molded by Molded it. Molded by it. Molded. Mold. I got mold on me. I got What's mold on me. What's your favorite Josh Lucas Josh movie? Lucas movie. I, I don't know any. It's not Sweet Home Alabama? I've never seen it. Is it Ford versus Ferrari? Nope. Is it The, the Forever Purge? Nope. Is it The Lincoln Lawyer? Can we talk about the next movie now? I'm going to turn off my thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to do it. We got to well, 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 As oh, always, can, can I do Ryan's people? exit? Yeah, of course sure. you can exit for I've Ryan. I've been your host without internet, Ryan. <laughs> you got to get it out of the way early because, you know, he might cut out. Yeah. As At always, moment, I've been your horrible white host burdened with all this white burdened guilt. with all this white guilt I am uh, I I destroyed the ocean I'm responsible for what was the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico yeah what was that one uh, I I ordered the code red I signed the papers I did not have sexual relations with that woman host Kenny I'm I'm just a, I'm just a big I'm just a big shark and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chomp on them leggers. I see them. I'm just gonna chomp on them, Daniel. I'm those legs and I hope they chomp on me from the <laughs> ankle and then to the knee and then to the thigh and then to the upper middle thigh and then before it's done it brings me a mirror and it says look at the mirror little one you still have legs and I'm gonna say those are my arms and hands it's gonna say no Hoo-ha, hoo-hoo-ha. That, did, did anyone else feel like that was like going like a little erotic and I'm gonna There's go, a little then erotic I'm gonna go there, up but I... the leg of the the cheek. I think he's trying to use that as an escape boat for all the c- problems he's caused today. I'm gonna go home and escape boat my wife. <laughs> <laughs>